Hola, hola, welcome to my channel. My name is Ilse and today I'm going to be showing you how I shave this look following two of the most popular trends on social media which are underpainting and also cloud skin. Underpainting is basically a technique that the makeup artist um, Mary Phillips just shared on her social media and she is the makeup artist of celebrities like Bella Hayden, Hailey Bieber and how she achieved that, you know, very skin-like glowy finish and I really like that but there's also another trend that is going around which is cloud skin and that's basically just a soft matte finish makeup i wanted to do something a little bit different and trying to combine both trends and that way i can still achieve you know this soft matte finish but in my way of glowy skin if that makes sense so if this is something that you are interested in please keep on watching okay so to achieve the mary phillips look i'm gonna start first with my cream contour and this is the westman atelier contour stick in, sh in shade biscuit so i'm just gonna contour where i normally contour which is gonna be under my cheekbone my jaw and my nose and a little bit on my mouth and then i follow with a liquid or cream blush i'm gonna use to say um, dewy blush in shade chili i love this formula it lasts on me so long and i just love the radiant skin like finish of this okay and to conceal my under eye area i'm gonna color correct first with the la uh, color corrector um, in color peach to just correct the inside areas of my dark circles and i'm in comparing them to the new elf and they are pretty similar but i think the big difference is the color and i'm gonna apply it with a brush just because I feel like with this product, you just need the tiniest amount. So I'm going to just apply with the brush first. And then I'm going to go with my Kofi Concealer. The main match in color Coco Crush. This has been my go-to concealer. I haven't even been able to put it down. And you can actually tell because I feel like I'm about to run out pretty soon. This is just an amazing everyday concealer and I'm also going to use it on my dark spots and a little bit of acne that I got a couple days ago and my redness for sure. Okay, and I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then we are going to follow with my foundation. Okay, I personally like to blend my concealer first before doing the foundation so i'm gonna do that with this beauty blender this is my favorite blue beauty blender and this is from sonia kashmir something like that you can get it at target it's five dollars and I, I have tried a lot of beauty blenders and this is absolutely my favorite and you can get it at target Okay, so the whole point of underpainting is basically doing all your colors before your foundation. And I'm going to show you how I apply my foundation. Okay, so I'm going to use the NARS uh, Light Reflecting Foundation. And I'm going to apply just a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. Because I feel like with foundation, I just like to apply little by little. And I'm going to start by applying the lighter color. And then after I do that, I'm going to go into the contour zone. So for me, I feel like this is just a great way of just giving your skin a little bit more natural finish with all the colors. And after I apply on the lightest 
parts of my face I can start blending with the darker color so I'm gonna start with the blush and I know it's gonna look a little bit intense but trust the process okay so for my darker color I'm actually gonna use a beauty blender just because I feel like it gives me the most natural finish. And you can contour as you want. You know, there are very different ways and you just have to understand your face shape and how you like to look. And just blend, 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 and blend. So this is how my skin looks after doing all the process, the underpainting process. And if you just want to achieve that um, Hailey Bieber and you know all the celebrities look, this is how you can just you know finish here and just put some lipstick, lipstick, do your eyes, and maybe just do a little bit more of like highlighter, and you will be good to go. But since the purpose of this video is combining the cloud skin. Um, trend with the underpainting we are going to follow with some powder and first I'm going to do probably a little bit more blush and for my powders I'm going to use the Gucci powder and rosy base so I prefer to do the powder first before the setting powder because we love blush you want to go for a more like soft matte look and usually your setting powder is kind of like your finishing step so I prefer to just add a little bit of this. And with this uh, Gucci powder, it has a luminous finish. So if I want, I can just add a little bit more of that um, like very soft glow at the end as my highlighting step, or I can just finish with this. I think that's good. And for powders, I'm gonna use two powders. The first one I'm gonna use is the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow um setting powder in pink and this is what i've been using to set my under eye area it just gives it a more luminous um brightening finish and i'm gonna use a brush i'm gonna make sure that it's everywhere and then i'm just gonna go under the eye area Okay, so I forgot, but I usually just use my uh, beauty blender and I go under my eye area before I put in my powder, but I forgot to step on this side, but doesn't matter, we're just gonna go with the flow. And I just, I've been loving this powder. It is so good under the eye just to illuminate the, under the eye area. And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Kosas Cloud Set. And for that, I'm going to use a bigger brush. This is from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to cover all the brush and go basically all over my face with this. I like this because this doesn't give you like a complete like matte look, but a very soft look, which, which is what we're trying to achieve, right? So you can see the difference. This is the side with the setting powder, and this is without the powder. And this is the shade Feathery, which is a light to medium shade. And I just love, love, love the finish. It has a little bit of like a that luminous, but it's still soft matte finish. And this is the final look for like the cloud skin base. As you can tell, it's very soft, it's very, you know, snatch, but <laughs> I really like the glow. So I'm going to use the, the Merit Highlighting Balm in shade Bounce, and I'm just going to put it At the high points of my cheeks and a little bit on the 
bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. Okay, I did my eyes and I put some lipstick on and this is the final look. So there are so many trends out there, but this is my way of combining two of the most popular trends at the moment, which are cloud skin and underpainting. And I actually really like it. I feel like I'm not a mad girl. So this is my way of, you know, following the trends, but at the same time, just doing what I like and it's glow. You know, you do not have to follow the trends that are out there. If you like the way your makeup is looking, just, you know, continue to do that. But if you are like me and you like more of a glowy, you know, dewy finish, but I still want to keep with the trends, this is my way of doing that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can follow me here on an Insta Instagram or TikTok. And thank you for watching. See ya.